so today, uh, it's a nice sunny day after a weekend full of rain. So I think I'm gonna head into some woodlands. It's only a small set of woodlands that I've never been before. Now I usually do quite a, log a lot of logging on this path here, but when I get to the end, I've always assumed that it's somebody's uh, field. I've never gone in there, but apparently the uh, footpath continues through the woods. So I'm going down for a nosy and uh, see if we can find any compositions within the woods and uh, yeah another another vlog being creative I think uh, we'll just try and find something different in the woods then do a bit of editing on the uh, Lumina um, yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed the last vlog uh, I was trying to experiment with Lumin Lumina 4 Lumina AI or whatever um, yeah I think it's a lot of fun I do get a bit of a funny feedback people don't like sky replacements um, personally for me it doesn't really bother me as long as you use your own skies that are everything in in the image is your own but I don't do it much but uh, I think it's a bit of fun to go back and uh, play with some old images that really weren't good and just change the sky to one of your own skies it's just a bit of fun editing uh, so yeah um, I do recommend Lumina uh, if you haven't got it um, if you're interested I can get you a 40% discount if you reply within 48 hours or otherwise it's 20% discount if you're interested in Lumina now I'm gonna make my way down to the woods now and uh, I'll leave you with this So I've come across this uh, farm shed over here. Um, I just like these three trees that are just standing out in the frame and just a bit of light catching them and this uh, rusty old barn tucked away on the side. So I think I'm gonna get a shot here. Um, got these leaves coming out on the left of the frame and uh, you got the gate coming in there looking at the woodlands um, it's too over too much growth in there to move around um, really thick and dense with foliage so I'm not going to try and uh, get in there no idea what's down here but um, this has caught my eye so I'm uh, I'm going to take a, an image with this I'm also testing out um, KNS new tiny little tripod um, this is the uh, serial number it's really light very light probably one of the lightest that I've uh, ever felt so and uh, it goes well with this bag I had off them not long ago um, so if you're going out in the day this is really light gear so I'm gonna set up and uh, get an image of this old uh, farm barn over here <laughs> Right. 
Right then, so I'm going to go at um, F16 here. I focused a third away with these leaves on the floor here. Um, I'm going to bracket this because it's really dark in these woods here. So yeah, um, I'm going to go down to a fourth of a second, then bracket one each end here at ISO 100. So the light seems to have gone, so uh, I'm just going to hang on just for a bit of light to come uh, through, I hope. Because uh, it makes a world of difference, just having a tiny bit of light, um, it catches the eye. Yeah, it's quite good here. Uh, this part of the path really uh, opens out and uh, gives me a chance to look about and uh, try and see things. What's caught my eye here is this tree um, going up here and you've got these sort of thin logs at the bottom of it and you've got one branch going off towards the left of the frame. But what's catching my eye is the light hitting the leaves on the side of the tree there. Um, so I was thinking of Zooming in on the leaves, sharpening it up on the leaves, um, going down to F4, kind of blurred out the background a bit. Um, and yeah, so uh, not sure whether this is going to be a one-to-one -one or a vertical shot yet. We'll just have to see how it works. But that's the idea with this one. Uh, it's them leaves that are catching my eye and hopefully I'll be able to get it on camera. So with this ISO 100, uh, going down to F4, bracketing one each end, um, still dark in here, and hopefully uh, get the image I'm thinking about, hopefully it'll come out. That's a nice big tree, uh, that's really caught my eye. Um, I was looking at it from over there, but these branches were coming in. I was trying to find an angle where I'm going to get it in without anything coming into the frame. I think I'm about to get it, but I love the hills rolling behind it and that sandy colour uh, grass. I've got some beautiful clouds there for detail. So I'm going to set up for this because I think this is going to be uh, one of them nice shots. Reminds me of is it the Halifax tree or some tree like that on its own. Yeah uh, I think this could make a nice pretty shot and uh, yeah I'll set up and uh, see how this goes. So what I want to do is wait for a bit of light. Um, I'm going to go at F16 on this one. ISO 100. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait for a bit of light. The sun's overhead 
it's going to light up now just perfectly. I'm going to bracket one each hand on this one as well. Yeah, it looks really beautiful, especially when the sun's shining down, because it really picks up that sandy, goldy colour around it. Um, so yeah, I like the curve on the... Uh, it's like a line going through where it's been cut, and uh, that's really nice. And uh, the clouds are just perfect. These trees are three trees or four, whatever that is, really popping out at me here. Um, the sun's just lit them up really nice and the overgrowth around it is really dark. So uh, I was looking at a one-to-one -one crop on this one, going really dark with the background and then tree trunks just popping out with the light that's on them. Um, so yeah, I'm going down at F4 on this one. Um, I'm focusing on the actual trees and then darkening the uh, surroundings around it and I think it'd be a nice one-to-one -one image. So this tripod um, by k &F, it's really nice, um, like I say it goes well with the uh, bag I had them off them not long ago so you can have a nice day out and uh, it's really light, you can't feel it. Um, the, these uh, work very well, the only thing is that this part, um, I'd be a bit careful with that, but it seems to be alright anyway. Um, now I'm like six foot one, so uh, the height's not too bad actually. I was thinking, oh, is it going to be too small? But, you know, it comes up to there, and then you get this sort of height with it. So it's not too bad, it's, I'm able to do the, uh, do photography all right. Like I said, it's only a travel tripod, and that's exactly what it is, but it's pretty good. Uh, now I've used a lot of KNF tripods over the years and they've been perfectly fine for what the price you pay for them. Um, so yeah, nothing bad to say about this at all. It's light, what it's supposed to do. It's also got a spring here. So yeah, uh, I think it's a pretty neat little uh, tripod. I'd only use it for like today, going out for a day and then uh, or going up a mountain probably if you wanted it lightweight so yeah, it's quite a nice little uh, tripod um, if you're interested you can have a, I'll leave a link below which will give you a 10% discount from this tripod right then, I think I'm possibly at the end of the woods now um, I think it's going to take me onto a road which will be a long walk home I was going to stop for a nice drink here, but I've just realised I forgot my left my drink at home, so I'm getting pretty thirsty. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to get another image, but I'm not going to sign off yet. Uh, there might be another image somewhere. Um, so we're going to head out of these woods and then see where it takes us.
this group of trees here, uh, right in front of me, has really caught my eye. And it's that tree right in the front there, where all the branches are to be seen, and it's spreading out throughout the uh, tree, uh, especially with the sun on it, it looks really nice. It's like it's, you know, God knows I'm trying to explain this. But yeah, I'm, I've only got the 16 to 35 on me, so uh, I'm probably gonna have to bracket this so I can get a big file, because I'm out gonna have to probably crop in um, to a one-to-one -one on this one. But you've got this nice golden grass. Um, the branches look fantastic, and you've got some nice detail above with the clouds. So I'm gonna take an image of this tree. Right then, I think I'm going to call it a day for this vlog. Um, I've walked quite a few miles. I've also got about two miles before I can get home and I'm dying for a drink. Um, I saw a nice dead tree over there, but uh, I just couldn't get in the field or get close to it to get an image. So, uh, shame about that. But yeah, I think I'm going to... I don't... I haven't realised how far down I've come. Like, so I've come around probably done about five miles today um, I'm really thirsty uh, the Sun is just really hot and uh, I'm in jeans not a wise idea but uh, I didn't expect to do all this walking so if you're uh, interested in Lumina 4 uh, like I said before I think there's a 40% uh, discount if you uh, take it in the next 48 hours or otherwise uh, it's a 20% discount I'll uh, leave the links below I'll also leave the link to the tripod by KNF, and I think that's about 10% off that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, just walking around, uh, exploring, trying to find compositions. Uh, I've quite enjoyed it, really, apart from desperately wanting a drink so bad. So, uh, please do subscribe, hit the like button, and until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.